In this video, I want to talk through cumulative frequency curves, how to draw them, and then in the next video, we're going to look at how we can start interpreting them and getting information from them. The important thing at the start is really to understand how they're drawn and what the diagram really shows. The majority of this should be uh, right from GCSE, so hopefully there won't be too much to kind of recap here. So as an example, here is um, uh, a set of data. Uh, it's grouped frequency, um, and I've got different size class intervals. That's perfectly fine. And the way that this works is that we look at the cumulative frequency. OK, and that just means that we add up the frequencies as we go. So at the, the initial frequency is 5, and then I add on 20, gets me to 25, and then I add on 15, which gets me to 40, and then I add on 10, which gets me to 50. So it adds up the frequency as you go along. So that when you plot your data, and you plot your frequency, your cumulative frequency curve, the left-hand vertical axis will be the cumulative frequency. So that's going up to 50. So let's say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Zero. And then uh, along the bottom, we've got our x values. OK, now they're going up to 14. So we're going to have uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. OK, I could have gone a little bit longer, <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll keep with that. OK, so now how you plot this is that you always use the end point of the class interval with the cumulative frequency, OK? So 6 and 5, OK? Now, the lowest point, just as, as a starting value, um, the lowest uh, value for x is 5, OK? So really, we should be down at 5, 0 as our starting point, so that then we can go to 6, 5 as our next point along, OK? So 6, 5. And then our next one is 825. So 825, so somewhere around there. Then uh, 1040. So 1040, so something like that. And then 1450. So 14 and 50, so somewhere there. So then you can draw your curve. going through those points, OK? So it should be a curve going through those points, not straight lines. And then you can use that, as we will in the next video, to estimate the median and the quartiles.